you do it? Um. Nice car. Let me see it. Nice bike. Get a ride. No, I can't let anyone ride it. Fact. Hey, baby? I don't want to get in trouble from my mom. Oh, you don't want to get in trouble for your mom? What are you, faggot? What's that? You. You know what we do to them? Beat him up. You should be called Fat Boy, not Frankie Boy. But what did I do? You're a faggot. We hate you. You're a loser. Ow. Beat him up. You're a stupid fag. We hate you. Ow. You know what? I need a new bike. I'm sorry. What are you, a fag? What does bullying mean to you? Well, bullying just means that the bully doesn't necessarily get treated the way he wants by his parents and he just takes it out on innocent kids. To me, bullying is a kid who is like bigger and stronger than another kid. So since he's bigger and stronger, he thinks that he can like be mean to him and like bully him. Have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have been bullied, but I haven't been physically bullied. I've been like um, mean words kind of bullied, mental, mentally bullied. Like they would call me a loser, kind of, kind of that stuff. I was beat up and called those someone cursed at me. But How did it make you feel? Angry and a little yeah. But I, I thought they were like it wasn't right that they were beating me up for no reason. Like punching me. Some kids actually just like um make fun of me because I only hang out with the girls, just because the guys in my class, they're just so dirty-minded. So I don't want to deal with that, so I just sit with the girls because it's fun just to laugh. It makes me feel like upset that kids are getting bullied because bullies are really mean. They really like hurt, like, hurt kids' feelings or physically hurt them. So it makes me feel bad for the, for the victim. Well, it would make me feel hurt inside and feel like I wasn't a person, like a special person. I've seen people getting bullied. Uh, sometimes they get bullied in the bathrooms. They just like push them against the walls. And one time when I had to go find a kid in the bathroom, there was blood on the wall. So I'm guessing that's because the bully or someone did something to an innocent kid. So once my, my friend was getting bullied and I told the bully to stop and he stopped. So you do fight for the underdog? Yes. What does an underdog mean to you? Well, that that would mean like if someone's getting like um, someone is being mean to someone else, I would help them out. Stop bullying starting today. Stop bullying starting today. Stop bullying starting today. Frankie, I didn't know this about you. You were bullied as a child? Yes, I was bullied many, many times over within the areas of New York City, within my own community. Was it basically homophobia or just because you were different in some way? I was different because of my being homosexual. And the other kids had teased, bullied. Did you fight back or did you just say, I'm going to have to deal with this internally? Um, I dealt with it internally 
and at some point, as time went on, I did fight back. I usually find that it's the bullies who are really the weak people. They're the ones who feel powerless, and they get together and they gang up on somebody. It makes them feel better about themselves to be brutal. Yes. Well, I had the good fortune of one coming forward years later, called me over, and he said, I just want to apologize to you. So that was refreshing. So they knew what they were doing? Yes. The whole time yeah. you were bullied, all those years? Elementary school, high school. Did you go back to your parents and tell them what was happening? My parents, well, my, they were my strength, which allowed me to get through it. Um, music allowed me and helped me find my way through it. Um, being creative. And I think channeling in on my creative process really helped me build an inner strength to move forward. Because some little kids sometimes they don't understand, they think they deserve it sometimes. Because they're, why is everyone ganging up on me? Maybe there is something wrong with me. And they, they need to learn that that's not the case. You don't deserve it. I wrote a piece of my childhood. While filming, I had to literally walk away from the filming on the set because the words, I had to relive the words to write the words and then to see it in action, I had to relive the moment. There were many moments. In the short that's been filmed, the verbiage of faggot was blessed upon me many times over. So. That magic word, I've allowed myself to grow strength from it. When did it finally end, all the bullying? When I finally came out at 21 and I no longer cared. Something maybe in your attitude? I was just feeling better about myself. They just needed the weaker person to vent on and I happen to have been that person. It's a hard sell when so many kids today are being bullied. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is through the roof. There are thousands of children, even adults, being bullied. Your religion, your sexuality, your weight, and your race. They're just coming left and right. You know what? There's so many successful gays like us who are happy adults living out lives. Yes. So that's my message to kids, is you're going to have the last laugh. And we followed our own drum, and we create, and we have a family with each other that's very loving, the LGBT community. Yes. So I say to a kid, it really does get better. You have a bright future ahead of you. It does get better. And we always think gays have come so far, we've gotten rights, bullying has gone away. It hasn't. No. Kids to this day are picked upon for being gay. We're, they don't even know they're gay yet, a lot of these kids. They're, they're just different. They march to their own drum. They don't fit in with the crowd. Right. And so to this day, we have a huge bullying problem. What's your message to a young kid who's being bullied at school? The only thing about it getting better is that you have to demand it being better. You it doesn't to, just happen. Right. You have to stand up. And I don't want to use the word that you have to stand up and fight back. You have to stand up and take action within yourself. Not action against someone else. Because when you take action within yourself and you build that inner strength, no one can break you. Not a person, not a religion, not a government, no one. Because you are doing you. As I would say, be you, do you, love you. That's all you can do.
change our ways and open up the door to peace, peace. Harmony. harmony, togetherness. Join hands and take a stand Sharing peace with another man We can pave the way to tomorrow's land Now we're the ones who can work it out Yes, the future's what we're talking about 